Hi, everyone. My name is James Shore. You may have read my book, The Art of Agile Development. Last year, I kickstarted a screencast series on test-driven JavaScript development. I wanted to show people how agile engineering practices like test-driven development work for real, outside of the classroom. And it was a great success. Over 800 people backed the project, pledging nearly $40,000. Now, I'm opening that series up to the public. Today's applications run on the web, and they're only getting more complicated. The old toss a few lines of JavaScript on a page and pray it doesn't break approach just doesn't cut it anymore. To be successful developing today's rich web applications, we need rigorous software development techniques like test-driven development. Let's Code Test-Driven JavaScript is my screencast series focusing on rigorous professional JavaScript development. In the screencast, we develop a real-time multi-user web application from scratch using techniques like test-driven development, build automation, continuous integration, refactoring, and evolutionary design. We support multiple browsers and platforms, including iOS, and we use Node.js on the server. The series consists of two main parts. The live channel is an in-depth, live recording of the application as it's developed from scratch. I edit out time spent in research, so you just get the stuff that matters. There's also an espresso channel, the same content, sped up 50%. For people who want a concise reference, the Lessons Learned channel distills out what we learn from the main series. Each episode explains the theory and practice of a specific topic, such as automating Lint, integration testing in Node.js server, or automating cross-browser testing. Your subscription gives you unlimited access to all videos, covering topics ranging from creating a Node.js server to deploying to Heroku to cross-browser DOM events. I upload two new live episodes every week and a new Lessons Learned video every month. All videos are DRM-free with a direct download link, and all source code is included. With complex web applications becoming so pervasive, it's important to use rigorous practices like test-driven development. With this series, I hope to develop and spread that knowledge further. Stay tuned for some examples. Thanks for listening, and thanks for your support. Let's try running it again. There. Okay. So now we should be able to say assert foo is equal to bar, and this is our, so this is uh, the actual value, the expected value, and then an optional message, and... Uh, let's just leave that message out for now. So we're going to say that these are equal. And let's try running that. Expected foo to equal bar. Perfect. Um, it's <laughs> it's so pedestrian. You know, it looks just like all the server-side tests that we've been running. But I really want to emphasize, this is running in Firefox. So... This, this is actually really running in the browser. Uh, it, but the reason I love Testacular and also JS Test Driver is because they make it seem just like the rest of your server-side tests. It really makes this a smooth process. So let's go ahead and assert that these two things are equal. Run it, and it's working. Great. Fantastic. Now, let's ramp it up a little bit. We've got our Firefox browser. But let's also bring in Safari. Great. Now we're running against two browsers simultaneously. But that's not good enough. We need to support Chrome, too. Awesome. OK. Now we're running against three browsers. But that's not good enough. We've got Firefox, Safari, Chrome. Those are the big three on the desktop. What about mobile platforms? Let's bring in the iOS simulator. Here we are. Here we have the iOS simulator. Let's go ahead and put in our local host. There we go. Now we've got iOS running. Let's make sure our code works on iOS. All right. But that's not good enough. We need to support IE9. Let's run a VM. Okay, we've got our VM coming up. Here's IE9. And that will need... Now, this localhost won't work here because that's not actually... Localhost is the VM. The actual address is jamesshore.local, which is my Mac. So let's bring that up. Okay, now we've got IE9. Let's see if that works. Awesome. 
but that's not good enough. We need IE8 support as well. So let's pull that in. Another VM. Here we are. We'll run IE. And we'll do the same thing, jamesshore.local. There we are. And we'll run our tests again. Done. It doesn't work on IE8. That's why we do multi-browser testing, because, well, IE8 sucks. So thanks for watching, everybody. We will pick up with this next time. We're going to be doing all these browsers, all this cross-browser testing for everything we do on the client from now on. So I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Now, let's go into more detail. Testacular is a tool for client-side JavaScript testing. The great thing about Testacular is that it runs your tests in real browsers. It's very fast, and it runs from the command line, which makes it great for automation and test-driven development. Testacular works in four parts. There's the Testacular server, which coordinates everything. There's captured browsers, which run the tests. There's the Testacular client, which triggers test runs and reports results. And then, of course, there's your tests and production code. Here's how it works. You start up the Testacular server with Testacular start. When it runs, it creates a little web server on port 8080. It also opens a control port at 9100, but you won't need to worry about that. Any browser you point at port 8080 will be served a chunk of Testacular JavaScript, which captures the browser for testing. You can connect any number of browsers from anywhere on your network, even a phone or iPad. Once the browsers are captured, you run Testacular from another command line. That tells the server to load your source files and push them to the captured browsers, which then run your tests. As they run, they report their results back to the Testacular server, which reports them back to the runner. The net result? Your tests run on multiple real browsers with all their real-world quirks, and you get the results collated and summarized with a single command. Awesome.